Hello! In this video I set up Canon Mono Laser Multifunctional MF460 series being called Image Class iSenses and iSenses X. I cover the following in the video and find my product review in the upper right corner of the screen. I used the MF465DW to set up in the video. See the dimensions and weight of the box. And then let's find out what is in the box. In different countries the box content may be different. This is the fax model, so there is also telephone cable. The software can be downloaded from the website. The QR code on the hard copy manuals guides to the online manuals page. Let me take out the printer and do the setup in the next part. I start from the first power on on the new device. Follow the steps on the device screen. Configuring remote UI is recommended for later managing of different device settings. I connect the device to Wi-Fi network. And later in the video I will switch to the Ethernet cable. Application library is a tool for more productive work and personalization of the device user interface. Online manuals are also available with on-screen QR code. The setup has been finished and my device will update the firmware, which is recommended. The upgrade procedure may take about 10 minutes or even more. Do not unplug the device during the upgrade. The upgrade is finished when the device reboots automatically. Next I show how to use the device from mobile. There is QR code for online manuals also via printer screen. In the status monitor, I can check my IP. In the mobile portal menu, I see my connection. Direct Wi-Fi is not available by default. Here I open the remote UI and show how to configure Direct Wi-Fi. Via the QR code, 
you can connect with Canon Print Business App, which will be end of life. Anyway, I add the printer by scanning the QR code and now I can print and scan. Let's print a PDF. As I did not yet insert the paper, I got the error. So let's put some paper first into the paper cassette. There is new app to use with all Canon printers and is now called Canon Print App. Not all the older laser models may have been supported. I already have my inkjet models here. So now I register a new printer. Let me do the test print again. This time, to protect the document, I set to use the secure pin printing. On device screen, I select secure print menu and print the document using the pin code. Find my tutorials on customizing the user interface and create your application library workflows as this feature is available now on a number of MF models. Next, let's change the connection to Ethernet. I take my Ethernet cable the printer displays the changed IP address. Next I will do the scan, but first I search for my printer again in the app, as IP address is now different. Let me delete my previous printer, which was connected with Wi-Fi. I scan two-sided documents And here is the PDF, where the page 4 is blank. To skip blank pages, it's not available via mobile app, but you can do it when scanning to USB memory. Here I put in the document with a few blank pages in between. In scan settings, I said two-sided scan and skip blank pages. Now I check the scan on the computer. Let's open the last file and see there are no blank pages in the PDF. And there is more about laser printers. Find my tutorials on customizing the user interface and create application library workflows. 
to scan to cloud find another tutorial on the MF in the upper right corner notification this feature is available on number of MF models with touch 5 inch LCD display drivers can be installed from the web page ultra fast rendering is recommended and works best with Canon lasers install also MF scan utility which is computer software for scanning in the upper right corner and that would be all in this video find more about laser printers in the playlist on my channel feel free to comment and subscribe as this helps me to support the channel so i can create more content in the future thank you for watching and sharing bye